and it was kind of game over from there. What I wanted to achieve with playing guitar is I mostly wanted to make girls want to make out with me. Hi, we are Pitaldo. And you're watching Band in Seattle. Tonight on Band in Seattle, Cataldo, recorded live at Victory Studios. Brainy Feelings music from their new album, Keepers. Band in Seattle, uncover the music that moves you. Little sugar. from Cataldo and I sing and write the songs. I'm Matt Beatty and I play electric guitar in Cataldo. <laughs> Five feet tall Back to deer field In the fall and I can still see Drinking something questionable Outside that pizza shop Trying to make the townies laugh Hustling a ride to Western Mass Just like ooh, A photograph Just like ooh, a It's a little bit of a long story, but I'll try to keep it interesting. Well, Matt and I met each other because our voices sounded really similar and mutual friends got us together because they were like, Matt's voice sounds just like a tiny bit higher than your voice. <laughs> started as him hiring me to play a show in his thing and me hiring him to play a show in my thing. I had played bass very badly in one show, but the whole time I was like, I think I might be able to steal this Matt Beatty character and get him to play in my band instead. And when I first saw him, I was like, I knew I either had to join him or destroy him. I wasn't too problematic of a kid, but when I figured out like, oh, you can get positive attention for performing music, I was like, oh, great, that feels good. In terms of like, did I want to be the singer in a band? I think right around the time I started writing songs, that idea definitely got in my head. Eric was Cataldo before we met, and he had toured solo around the country and in Europe before we met. So I think when we got together was when he first had a more consistent group of people to play music with. And I've kind of just followed my nose into the band that I have now. A lot of people have played at least one show with us at some point. I feel really lucky now that the people who are my pals and who want to play music with me are also like super, super talented. But you are checked up on the gilded armies.
Brad Hanlon, he plays in the band SGF. I needed someone so specific for this band and was really happy I found him. They need to be good at playing keyboards, but not too good. Not so good that they would be bored playing the stuff that is on these, you know, pop songs. Someone who's a synth dork, too. And then, kind of cherry on top, I needed somebody in the band to play uh, alto sax. And that cocktail of stuff is not super common. This is my smoldering. So the drummer playing with me in now is named Alex Wesco. He plays in the band Pickwick. Super, super talented drummer and just a solid guy. So that's Alex. Dave Dada plays bass. I uh, went to see the Fruit Bats, a uh, band I really like, and was just having a drink with Eric, uh, the singer of that band, and I was asking about his band and who's there now, and he said, oh yeah, this guy Dave, and then I saw him play and was just blown away by how good he was. Didn't get a chance to talk to him at the show, but stalked him so hard afterwards. Facebook, doesn't do Facebook, email, email them, got his phone number from Eric, and so, and then we hung out and, had a fun time and he played a show with us and here he is now. Aaron is like my ox guy. We joke around if you need anything, like Aaron just has it on him. Whether that's like a nine volt battery or like a screwdriver for your glasses or something, he'll just quietly be like, oh yeah, that's it. here you go, I've got one. Well, Matt Beatty is a total f That's, for, first of all, we joke around that we are on each other's retainer. Uh, Matt plays in my band and is definitely the person who's played the longest in Cataldo. And then I help out in Matt's band, it's called Ruler. We've sung together for six years, is that right? Six, seven, eight. Eight. still folding, I screw my eyes, it's true. When we come back, you'll learn just how brainy is this band. Puka, 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 puka. He kind of messed things up for me. So are we going full Gabriel on this? The song is called Room Without a Flame. Um, I can't think of anything to say about this song. He kind of messed things up for me because it sets the bar really high for a song that you'd write for your girlfriend. My girlfriend is sort of looking at me like, I guess it can be done. I was braced. For a gutshot music A boat beyond the shipping lanes Trailing wakeless into spring That's when I met you on the street Just think back Before I even knew your name How cold it was to be around without a flame I took piano lessons as a kid when I was, I think, six or seven is when I started. Taught myself guitar and then started to write songs shortly after that. I remember learning like, okay, like I can kind of figure out a rhythm for this song and it, oh, like you can put these in a different order and that becomes a different song. It's the same chord shapes in all these songs. Like I can just put them together myself and sing whatever I want over it. I think I was learning to play Every Breath You Take by The Police, which is a really tough song, the actual guitar part, but just playing the changes is really simple and realizing Oh, like a ton of other songs also use these same changes. When I feel brave, you are the song that swells in my head. But bruise the silence with your voice in case I forget to think. What I 
studied in school is like poetry and creative writing and short fiction. And I remember learning like the theoretical underpinning of all that in school, which is something called scansion. Shakespeare writes an iambic pentameter. Booga, 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 booga. And so Shakespeare all kind of sounds like that. It has that rhythm. And then when I figured out that, they're like, oh, that's exactly what I'm doing while I'm writing songs, just intuitively. When people talk to me about the band, they tend to assume that I know more about what the songs are about than I actually do. They are a little disappointed when they find out that I have no idea what he's talking about. So tragedy is tragic. So the more that these days wear on, the more lucky I become. Yeah, that's why your voice in my mind, though it's inevitably crowded. And I'll try to be the type the person you can proud of. recording person you need to be proud of. Alex, the drummer, same drummer who was playing with me, was like, kind of cocked his head to the side, was like, so are we going full Gabriel on this? And the grand facade. Person you'd be proud of is a really fun song to play because it is so wholesome and it's so adorable and every time I listen to it or play it, I just hope that one day if I ever have kids, they'll just be just nice young people that would say such nice things. <laughs> you know I'll try to be the type the person you can proud of. like sit around a piano with our fingers in our ears, figuring out the harmonies. We're all pretty confident harmony singers who we can kind of just extemporize together if we know the words and melody. Both Dave and Matt are great harmony singers and yeah, we just kind of do it, I don't know. When I realized that you could sing along with music and sing different notes than the singer and have it sound cool, I just did it constantly. And it wasn't something that I was doing because I wanted to get good at harmony, I just thought it was cool. You know your life has got me running, running, running. Got me running home to you. Go, go play my song in some strange room And feel the ice Watching me sing about you But if I get strung out Then God knows I can't I feel you pull me back Like a rubber band it's got me running, running, running. Running. running was an impressive feat of songwriting and producing because it's probably the most Christian rock sounding song that Eric has brought since we started playing music together. And I warned him when I heard it, I was like, dude, this sounds like, like you're gonna get people to come to the side of the stage to give their life to Jesus. Not let life just become boring. He produced it in such a way that he walks that line perfectly to where you don't feel like you are gonna go to hell if you. You know your life has got me running, running, running. Got me running home. You know your love has got me running, running, running Got me running home You know your love has got me running, running, running Got me running home You know your love has got me running, running, running 
There's a lot more with Cataldo coming up on Band in Seattle. Where am I? <laughs> we do kind of like brainy feelings music. Uh, you don't think I can sing that high? We were talking earlier about how it's weird to play a show in a place that doesn't smell like pee. <laughs> and I think that that pee smell might not actually be pee, but it's like a chemical that like makes people talk really loud. Right. And they right. just haven't got that here yet. It's probably really expensive. <laughs> yeah. I th maybe that's like the smart Alec meter. Just like, shh, shut up, guys. <laughs> play another song. Shh. Play the next yeah, it's like, it's literally like, shh. Seattle kind of has a reputation of being a little unfriendly. Uh, the Seattle Freeze. I have found that not really to be the case in our music community. If I needed help with something, and I knew the person who could help me, and I asked for help, I can count on one hand the number of times someone was like, no, I'm not gonna help you. If you ask for it, people will help. So yeah, I think if you stand in the corner of the room at a party and wonder why no one likes you, I think you kind of have your answer there. You gotta go talk to people. Riding through the central plains Where half of me was made for something wild And half was made for something plain How do we the, the reason why playing music in Seattle is easier to do is because there is a huge number of people who are just as delusional as you are in regards to this being a good idea at all. When you go to a smaller town, those people aren't when there. The room's too crowded with the shouters at the bar. And it's the shows that I played when I was younger would be familiar to most people who came from a small town. Under the overhang at the public library, we played at the Shriners Temple when they would rent it out to us. Played at a local coffee shop that liked to stay open like two hours extra late whenever we booked a show. Then a broadly defined chateau And I feel like the art of New Year's Eve. I'm not drunk at all or getting antsy to leave. When the room's too crowded with the shouters at the bar And it's all that I can do to walk you outside into the car Psycho buzzing when I triple check the locks on all the doors. Straight Up Western is a song about driving home uh, from tour. In the end, David and I, we sing some high oohs that I really enjoy doing. David got to do the, the higher ooh. In the end, I feel like because David was newer, I had to be the bigger man and take the lower ooh. You don't think I can sing that high? Prove me wrong right now. <laughs> there are years I can't escape my mind. My body quits, I get the blues. I'm angry when the follows suit. Can't see it's left me behind. But someday, in a moment unacknowledged, by the sprawl My heart will beat so hard that it can break The terracotta shout the beast has made. I feel really lucky that I'm pretty good at managing people and projects. It's funny how much of my time is spent doing that stuff uh, now in kind of release mode. If you look at it on like a macro level, you're like, man, there's all this work to do for limited financial return. I guess if I were to look at it zoomed out like that often, maybe I would sort of scratch my chin more. At the micro level of like what I'm doing in the next couple days, that always sounds fun and interesting and exciting and I'm happy to do it. Coming over here today to film this interview, just like, cool, that, that'll be fun. That thing will be on TV, that'll be cool. I just look at the next thing and I'm almost always really excited to do that. It's pulling me away from you. It's still wouldn't be wise to
to let you in. Cataldo is Eric's project and it is in a big way kind of what he will do to leave a mark on the world. So as his friend, I would like to see him succeed. I want to see him make a million dollars, if not several million dollars, and you know, to, to give me like half. I'll meet you on the other side. When I first got to know uh, Sean Nelson, who's like a music personality in Seattle, we were sort of like commiserating and talk about, talking about how we do kind of similar stuff. And he was like, yeah, we do kind of like brainy feelings music. If somebody had that impression while watching us play, which I think is accurate, I would be thrilled. Thanks very much, Rick Ataldo. To uncover more of the music that moved you tonight, go to bandinseattle.com, where you can learn more about Cataldo and watch their full concert. Tune in next week to uncover more music that moves you on Band in Seattle.